Okay guys, so today is so exciting. I am on my way to JFK because I am going to London. I'm so excited and nervous. I'll tell you guys more about it in the car. See you soon. Hey guys, so I'm finally headed to the airport and I have a press interview with a German TV company called RTL German TV um, in London. So it's technically about the Meghan Markle lookalike stuff. Um, I don't know if you guys been up to speed on what's going on, but um, I, d I am going to include some stuff from like some articles that were written about me and um, just to talk about it a little bit. Y hablando de Meghan Markle, hay una azafata estadounidense que dicen que es la doble de ella. El parecido es bastante. Ella asegura que los pasajeros la confunden con Meghan unas 10 veces al día como mínimo. Vamos con Nicole Suárez, que no las muestra. A ver si es cierto que se parecen tanto o no. Vamos a ver. Hi guys. Um, I have a boy. Christine Mathis, de 32 años, es la zafata que acapara muchas miradas, no solo por ser hermosa, sino por su gran parecido a Meghan Markle. So I was working first class. Mathis asegura que desde el 2011 los pasajeros comenzaron a preguntarle si era la actriz de la serie Suits. En ese entonces ella ni sabía quién era Megan. And I would get it like maybe once a week or twice a week. La zafata de la aerolínea JetBlue relata que a medida que la fama de Megan creció gracias a su matrimonio con el príncipe Harry, también aumentó la cantidad de personas que le pedían fotos. Ahora la confunden con la celebridad unas 10 veces al día. Like 10 times a day. Christine de Nueva Jersey dice que al igual que Marco, ella es birracial y se maquilla y se peina para parecerse aún más a la duquesa de Sussex. Tanto que cuando se removió un lunar, su dermatólogo estaba convencido que era Megan que estaba usando un nombre falso para hacerse el procedimiento en secreto. She's just an inspiration. She's, she's beautiful. Ella dice que es una inspiración y es hermosa, por eso ha decidido aprovechar el parecido para trabajar como la doble de Marco. E incluso hizo una sesión de fotos con su propio príncipe Harry. Y es que el parecido es innegable. Con razón, muchos le preguntan si está casada con un príncipe, ¿por qué sigue trabajando como aeromosa? Pues Cristina asegura que ella ya encontró su príncipe azul, el padre de su hija, pero se parece más al cantante John Legend. Nicole Suárez, Telemundo. Bueno, no son idénticas, pero ciertamente tiene un aire. Ella dice que su mayor anhelo es interpretar a, a Marco en una película, ya que también le gustaría convertirse en actriz como su ídolo. Um, I'll talk about it later, but I just want to let you guys know I'm going to the airport. I'm headed to London. And it's my first time in Europe, and I'm so excited and nervous. And I can't wait to go. And Sarah's actually going with me, my friend. And you guys met her in a couple of vlogs. But yeah, let's go. I can't wait for the adventure to happen. And I'm gonna record everything that's going on so you guys can see behind the scenes of this adventure. waiting for the air train to head to the airport. I'm with Sarah. <laughs> She's coming to London. Have you guys seen her in a couple of vlogs? Um, but yeah, I'm super, super nervous. <laughs> but I'm ready. So we finally made it to our hotel. I'm gonna give you guys a little tour because it's really small. Um, the 
this is the door and that's literally the bed so it's pretty tiny oh we have a deck can i open it good morning guys it is officially game time <laughs> it's 7 34 and we're about to get breakfast and then i gotta get ready for my interview you ready sarah i'm ready just five dollars i can make it rain i'm just kidding no we don't have to right no maybe when we leave these hotel rooms are so small Coronavirus. <laughs> Gotta make sure. Mm -hmm. This is real. Oh, look, there's hand sanitizer over here. What? Oh, I'm going through ground floor. Oh. Wrong, yes. wrong one. <laughs> oh. oh, they have pure money. <laughs> I forgot to film my, my breakfast, but. That's my breakfast. That's Sarah's. She's almost done. <laughs> it's a English brekkie. <laughs> so we're finally here. I'm about to set up my makeup and get ready. Today I'm going to be interviewing with RTL German TV about the Meghan Markle story. Like I told you guys earlier, I'm kind of nervous and excited at the same time. But I'm going to finish getting ready, or starting to get ready, and then um, talk to you guys soon. I want to see like what my makeup is going to look like. I'm trying to like use this. It won't stay up. I don't know. You're a housewife, help me. Wow. We'll just use it like that. Thanks, Christine. <laughs> <laughs> that was all filmed on camera. Well, and I'm leaving it. I was a man.
So Meghan Markle, how does it feel to be outside Buckingham Palace? I love it. <laughs> hey guys, I just finished filming uh, by Buckingham Palace. And we're going crazy. We are now in the Philly Circus and we're going to do another reaction. Hey guys, so today is day two of London. We are actually headed to lunch. This is my outfit for today and I'm ready. I'm also meeting a Prince Harry lookalike, so that should be fun. Sign. Fancy. Currently eating at Grand Cafe. How do you say that? Concert? Concert. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. This looks very fancy. I kind of want to try the fish and chips, but I'm not sure. Okay. Oh no, I can't. Powdered fish and chips. Can't wait to enjoy. Hey guys, so I'm here with Prince Harry lookalike in the UK. Anything you want to say? Um, welcome to the UK. I hope you're having a fantastic time. It's a bit cold here than you're used to, I believe. It's really cold. <laughs> After consulting with our top government health professionals, I have decided to take several strong but necessary actions to protect the health and well-being of all Americans. To keep new cases from entering our shores, we will be suspending all travel from Europe to the United States for the next 30 days. The restriction will apply to foreigners who visited one of 20 Hey guys, so it is two in the morning. We got quite a few texts from people saying that they're banning travel restrictions from the from the from Europe. Um, but we're in Britain. We're in Britain, <laughs> so we should be fine. Um, but we're actually headed to the airport in a couple of hours. We got kind of nervous, <laughs> but yeah, we actually couldn't sleep. So <laughs> we're just here getting ready. We're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. You know why? Why? Because you and I are together, and we're gonna be okay. <laughs> hey guys, so it's the next day from when I flew into New York. It was a little crazy getting out of London. Everybody was trying to get out because of the lockdown that President Trump imposed on Europe. Um, but Britain, or where we were, was excluded, which was good, um, but it was still kind of a panic because a lot of people were trying to get out at that airport. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am gonna try to do more travel vlogs as I can. I have a lot more projects that I'm working on that I'm gonna record, so look out for that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope it's not too short. I try to get as much footage as I can. Um, and yeah, 
I'm about to take my daughter to the doctor's because she has a pink eye. So hopefully it's nothing too serious. But yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Ciao. Oh, before you leave, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.